Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Today I want to show you kind of a trick with custom validation rule for unique validation. And it's another example from open source ERP SAS, which I showed you already a few times on this channel. And I'm pretty sure there will be more tricks from that project. And I will link the source in the description below. So basically what it does is if you edit any income or expense category and try to assign another one, like rent already exists, but it exists for this particular user and only for expense. So save changes, it will tell that the category rent already exists, expense category. But if we change that to income, rent should be saved successfully. So there's rent income and rent expense. So how to implement that? Filament has validation rule unique in itself. And I'm sorry for my voice, I'm batch producing the video. So this is video number five already today and I don't have time to make some tea or coffee. So yeah, bear with me with my shaky voice now. Anyway, unique is a part of filament validation rules, which is actually based on Laravel validation rules. And you can provide some conditions like unique for table, unique column or unique ignore current record and also do modify rule using. But in this project, the case is a bit more complex than that. And here's the code text input with custom rule. I'm showing it to you as an example that you can customize any validation rule, not only unique, but anything with rule and these syntax parts. I guess it would be possible maybe to achieve the same thing using that modify rule using, but in this case, the author is in full control of validation message, for example, and maybe potentially more conditions. So let's dissect. We have rule which accepts static function with two parameters. Get contains the values of the form, the current values, and component gets the full component, including the current record. And this is a bit tricky syntax, so you can take a look at the code and copy paste into your example. But we return another static function using get and component, those two. And in here, that function becomes Laravel function. So it's similar syntax, how Laravel validation classes would return the result. We're just using a few variables from filament. So a database operation searching for category for specific company for specific type with specific value. And if we do find that category and the key of that record is not the same as get key of the current record, which is ID. And that's why we need that component in addition to get because get doesn't contain the ID, the key of the record. So if that condition is true, then we need to fail. Dollar $fail is a pretty recent syntax of Laravel to return the validation message from custom validation rules. And if you call the fail, then all of that validation rule fails, returning this validation message. So all of that pretty long explanation for you to understand what is actually happening here. In the description below, I will also put the link to Laravel documentation to fill any gaps you have with that knowledge. What do you think about this? Would you have done it differently maybe? Or maybe you have experience with that? Modify rule using for a similar scenario. Share your experience in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.